Good morning everyone and welcome to another day of devotions. My name is Paul and today we'll be looking at the theme of the Bible. As you first begin, I'll read out Hebrews chapter 4 verses 11 to 13. It says, Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following the example of disobedience. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid before the eyes of, of him to whom we must give account. So in order to live an obedient faith, we need God's help. We desperately need his help. But the problem is we're often too afraid to approach him. I've been afraid to approach God at certain points in my life, sometimes for long stretches, especially when my sin is evident and imminent and right in my face. I've got this example um, when I was when I was really when I was really little, I used to play a lot of football and I was playing in the in a driveway one day and you know I'd always kick the ball up against the wall and you know do some kick ups and practice taking shots and stuff. And one day I decided to kick the ball very, very hard to see what would happen, you know, and the ball just shot up in the top right corner where there happened to be a window, small little window. And the ball just shatters the window and just goes straight through. My parents went in, but I waited until they got back home. And my father asked me what, what, what I'd done. And, and I felt obviously scared. I didn't want to come to my father and tell them what I'd done and what I'd done wrong. Um, but I told him the truth and I told him what happened. And he forgave me and you know told me not to do it again. Um, but it's almost like that when we come towards God. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 11 it says let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will fall by following the example of disobedience. A few takeaways from this is one he calls us to enter his rest which comes at the second coming. Two we enter his rest through Jesus who energizes our obedience which takes a lot of effort. And three God doesn't want us to follow those who are disobedient, but those who have an obedient faith so we can enter his everlasting rest. So how do we do this? The word of God is our first clue. Reading God's word reveals our sin to us and calls us to confess it and turn away from it. It prompts a, a desire in God's people to pursue spiritual growth so that we, we say, think, do and feel reflects the one who is our rock and our redeemer. This transformation, however, does not take place in isolation. We hear, read and study the Bible, not as in, only as individuals, but as part of a community of fellow believers, the church. God has given us and other Christians to learn from and learn with as we take in God's word. As we hear God's word preached and taught, study it together in small groups and talk about it with other believers, God uses his word to transform us into clear reflections of his son, Jesus Christ. So the next time you open up your Bible, take a moment to pray that God will change you to resemble Jesus more closely. That is a prayer that God loves to answer. Let me pray. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name that you would keep our minds, hearts and souls open to really experiencing you afresh this morning. Help us to really focus in on you and, and, and make you be the centre, Father. Help us to, to be obedient to your word, not just hear it and, and walk away, but remember it and practice it and use the wisdom that you give us, Father. God, we pray that you would give us strength and understanding and that you would really let your presence fall upon each and one of us. In Jesus' name, amen.